Now to the Houston Ballet, they are preparing for a brand new season with shows like The Nutcracker, of course, Sylvia, and The Merry Widow. Well, here with more about the upcoming season, former Houston Ballet principal dancer Lauren Anderson, who I always feel like I need to <laughs> suck up. it in, <laughs> sit up straight, and don't do this. You're not alone. Taking that course. So You're great good. to see you. And it's good to be back. Love the new set. It's Thank awesome. you. Thank well, you. it looks better with you in it. It really does. Well, I thought about it. Don't wear white. There's white on the surface. <laughs> you know, I, I put this... You look fantastic. Together. Well, and Lauren, you, you're such an icon in this city. For people who are not paying attention, you, I mean, you made history when you became named as the first African-American prima ballerina. You were with the ballet from, what, like 23 years, right? 83 to 06? Yes. I've worked with the time. Houston Ballet as of this month for 35 years. Unbelievable, Yeah, I'm Lauren. still there. I started in the Houston Ballet Academy back in a year half of the audience can't comprehend in 1972. And then um, graduated from high school, got in the company in 83, rose to the ranks of principal dancer, wow. retired in 2006, and now I work in education and community engagement. I get to coach wonderful dancers like Monica uh, Gomez, who you see right there. Right. and. Um, I've been teaching all over and working in schools. You know what I think is so great is sort of once you're a dancer, you're always a dancer. And that life is hard. The schedule is grueling. Mm. You're constantly evolving into new characters. and uh, But you never lost sort of that loving feeling for ballet. Oh, absolutely not. It's what I know. It's what I've done for from 7 to 53. Um, so, of course, and I work at the Houston Ballet. No the better fabulous place. Houston Ballet Center for Dance downtown and the most incredible company in the world. It's, right well, it's a big deal in Houston, but but I'm glad you mentioned that because it's a big deal, not just in America, but around the world. That's the right. Houston Ballet is. Yeah, right. lots of recognition. Yes. For sure, for sure. Okay, The Nutcracker. Let's talk about some, some of the upcoming shows because obviously the, the ballet would not be the ballet without The Nutcracker, and that's one of the first. The first, we're starting our season in a different place. You know, we, every, we were in a huge upheaval with Harvey. Right. Yeah. We have not been able to get into the Wortham. We're starting our season with The Nutcracker at the Wortham, so we're so very awesome. excited that's about great. that. And then from there, we have world premiere. We have a wonderful world premiere of Sylvia that's coming up. We have Coppelia, which is always fun and whimsical and, and great for the whole family. We have The Merry Widow, which is, I say it's kitsch. It's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, there's boas, and it's funny. It's, it's really funny. And then, of course, we end with one of the favorites, Marie. Yes which is making a comeback. We've got Triple Bills, the Robinson. I don't know if you all know who. Jerome, Jerome Robbins, Robbins, the master. Jerome Robbins did um, When You're a Jet, You're a Jet All the Way on West Broadway. He did West Side Story Guy. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I'm horrible. <laughs> West Side Story Guy, <laughs> choreographer. And uh, it's his 100th. And we're doing a, a triple bill for that. And then we have another one called, come on, you got notes. Premieres. Premieres, which is all world premieres, which, you know, world premieres are important for a company. Absolutely, and, it's and Staten's kind of vision, right? It's Staten's vision. So this is going to be a great season. And can I just jump in and say that the ballet is, I, I think a lot of people maybe who haven't been to the ballet, they think of it as this, little like, snooty. Fa, 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 fa. Yeah, yeah, it was so snooty. But wait, wait, what it, was it's that? Not. Fa, 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 fa. <laughs> I don't, like, <laughs> like you're smoking a cigarette and you're like, fa, 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 fa. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's very glamorous. Darling. It's glamorous. But, it is. But it's so accessible. And these shows, we, I know we were just showing some of the photos from the upcoming season, but from the costuming to the choreography, the ballet, the Houston Ballet is so elegant, but it's almost like you guys don't take yourself so seriously mm -hmm. that you're not willing to try new risks. You we're, are always pushing the envelope. First of all, we are open for the public. We are open for the community. We do as much in the community as we do. It's not, like we always say, it's not just tutus and tiaras. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we do, like last year was awesome because we had spoken word with the ballet. So you cool. You know, it was so cool. It was an awesome. So Stanton's vision is uh, to look like the fabric of the community. We're working on that. The school looked like the fabric of the community. We're working on that. Being accessible to the community, we're absolutely doing that with dance yeah. talks and all that. Different types of rep, different types of ballet something that will uh, everyone 
everyone, everyone can enjoy. Can enjoy. And one way that you can do that, it's super easy because we are giving away a subscription and all you need to do is head to our website because it is a full season and that's one way to get your family involved to do this. Click to Houston.com. Look under that contest tab. The last day to enter is July 31st for the upcoming season. The winner is going to be notified via email. And I have to say, my boys are, you know, they're 10 and 7. They're stinky. They're athletes. But both of them <laughs> love the arts and they have an appreciation for that and I think what's so cool about our community is that we welcome that we want kids to be at the Houston Ballet we want them everywhere yeah. I mean we have one thing that's awesome about Houston is that we have all of the arts we have yep. everything and it all happens right downtown in the theater district and and as you know when we need to we will go all over Houston absolutely to make sure it'll happen Lauren Anderson you're a pioneer we're proud to have you on our set we hope you'll come awesome. back and visit us I'll come back anytime. Awesome. Anytime. All right. Thanks Good so much. All right. Well, if you would like to buy tickets to see one of those shows that we just talked about, visit HoustonValet.org. You can also call 713-227-ARTS. And don't forget that season subscription to the ballet. Just start at $129. Very good deal. Very good deal.